And as I started reading the words, a certain name jumped out at me. Okay. Sometimes love don't say a word. Sometimes love don't say one word. I got it from a text, and I'm going to share it with you just for two seconds. Then he questioned Jesus with many words, but Jesus answered him, nothing. We'll pick up on it in just a second. If you have your Bibles, you can turn to Luke chapter 23. We're going to begin in verse 13. Chapter 23 of Luke, beginning in 13. Luke 23, verse 13. You know, I thought about the words that Jesus was being questioned by King Herod. What is taking place? I'm going to paint the picture to you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, came to earth to heal, to bless people. Come on now. He came to make a crippled man walk. To make a deaf ear hear. To make blind eyes see. The Lord Jesus even raised the dead. He blessed the ones that spit on him. Helped the ones that cursed him. Love. Me, me or you could ever imagine. Our minds can't comprehend it. The heart is inside your chest. <laughs> the only love that we have in us is Jesus. Amen. Don't be good in any of you. It's Jesus. Come on, man. The Bible says that the heart is a wicked, wicked thing. It's the most wicked thing of all. It's like a, any of y'all that have children, I know a lot of you do. It's like a, my little girl, Brinkley, she would play with the play at least she would leave it out. You know what I'm talking about? And I'd leave the top off of it. And I would go there in the morning time, and now when she had it in her hand, she was playing with it and shaping it and forming it, making it how she wanted to be. But in the morning when she left that top off, I'd walk in there and it would be hard as a rock, wouldn't it, Christy? And that's what happens to our hearts. Yeah. When you don't have the King of Kings in you. No, no. When you don't have Jesus, you don't have compassion. Mercy, love, generous, the, the kindness. Praying for a stranger. 